Yo guys, what's going on? It's Ish here and I'm super excited to be showing you exactly how to find customers that are actually gonna buy your services and your systems, okay? There's a lot of companies that actually charge people to scrape data when honestly, man, you can find people's data pretty much for free. Unless you wanna scrape like a social media page, like an Instagram, a Snapchat, a Twitter, a Facebook group, a LinkedIn. But when it comes down to public data, it's pretty free, it's pretty easy, and you can just scrape thousands per day, okay? So let me explain fundamentally exactly what we're doing here. So there's gonna be a lot of businesses that have their information on public display. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be finding businesses and offering them our agency services, okay? The problem is that a lot of people don't know where to find these businesses. They sit there and they say, hey Ish, where do we find these businesses? How can we find them? And where do we go to find them? So I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to solve that problem and how to find these specific businesses and how to get and collect their data. So this is what I'm gonna be teaching you is how to find these business owners information, okay? So fundamentally what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna use, sell them our AI services. But what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be scraping their data. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna see like on Google, for instance, you're gonna see like a bunch of people's data online, okay? And all these like are listings of people that like, let's say for example, plumbers near me. What you're gonna do is you're gonna scrape all those listings and you're gonna put it into a thing called a CSV file, a comma spreaded value file. This is basically anything like pieces of data is organized. I'll show you an example and how to do it, but it's very simple. It's basically like a little spreadsheet that you're gonna put your data onto, okay? Now, basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go to our Chrome store and we're gonna download this exact Chrome extension. This is the one that I personally use and it's literally the best thing ever, okay? Map Scraper and Map Data Extractor. Once you download it, you're gonna basically open up the Chrome extension on the top right. You're gonna see it right there. It's gonna open up the Bing map, okay? It's the same thing as Google, it's the same thing. What I want you to do is I want you to type in a specific type of business industry that you wanna reach out to. So let's say Los Angeles, and then you can look up plumbers, okay? So let's look up plumbers near Los Angeles, okay? Now, instantly, we're going to plumbers and we're looking at all these people. Now, what we're gonna do here is you're going to scrape all this data. So how to do that? Let me show you exactly how. So you're gonna scroll inside. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press start extraction. So if you wanna find all the plumbers near California, you're gonna press start extraction. It's gonna start scraping the data. As you guys see right here, and as you scroll around Los Angeles, you're gonna get more. You see how it turned to 61, now it's 79. So you're just basically gonna scroll around the area that you wanna personally target. And now you got 114 plumbers, 125, you get the idea. So you just keep scrolling around. Let's say we want like 500 plumbers or whatever, right? I don't even know if 500 plumbers even exist in California, but you guys get the idea. You guys just keep scrolling around town, around California until you get the number that you feel comfortable with, okay? So um, let's say this is good, 250 is good, okay? So we're gonna stay around 250, cool. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press export button, okay? There's gonna be two options, Excel, and CSV. I want you to just do it on CSV. I'm more normalized to CSV. So you're gonna download the data to CSV. Now instantly, you're gonna open this up, this link, this uh, file that you just downloaded. Now instantly, you got access to all this data, all these customers' data. What I really want you to really worry about is a couple of different ones, okay? So I want you to get their name, okay? So you're gonna go to this column, you're gonna cut it. So once you have all this data, what I want you to do after, I want you to go to Google Sheets to organize it because Google Sheets is probably the most customer-friendly or consumer-friendly thing to use when it comes down to actually organizing data. I want you to use blank new spreadsheet and I want you to just go ahead and enter all the data that you got here, but just take the stuff that you actually need, not all this, like you don't need the ID number. That doesn't make any sense for you to keep. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the name right there, boom, okay? You don't really need their address because you know they're in California, so it doesn't really matter too much. You don't need their featured image. You don't need their URL. You would need their rating just to kind of understand where they are right now. Maybe you can start selling them some brand reputation services or something like that. Also, you can keep their rating information as well so you know how many ratings they have. Let's say they have a four star 26 on Yelp. So that's something that you can keep. Plumbing, we already know that these are guys are plumbers. You can get their website details too. So you can go website details, take that information, put it there. What I'm doing basically, I'm copy and pasting. Obviously get their phone numbers. Phone numbers are very important. Get their emails, okay. We get their emails. Social media, you can get their social media. I don't really need it, but you can get it if you want to, it's optional. Let's just do it for now, just to kind of keep it here so we can have data. Their Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, that's not really necessary. As long as you have their social media, whatever their handle is, whatever, like their Yelps or whatever, 
Uh, notice how this says in progress. If you just wait a little longer, then it'll give you all the data, but whatever, you guys got the fundamental idea of what we're doing here. If you guys just let it extract for a little bit more longer, you get all that data as well. So you just have to sit there and like kind of wait like five more minutes. Now, having that being said, you got all this data here, okay? Now, instantly you can start calling these people and start asking them to basically get all the services that you provide, okay? Then you can tell them, hey, can I start answering your phones? Hey, uh, Ladera Ranch repiping. Hey, what's going on boss? How's it going? My name's John. I'm a pretty much a marketer. I'm an AI specialist. Do you want help answering the phone? I can set up a robot to answer the phone for you so they can collect payment, book appointments, follow up with your leads. Maybe you don't have to sit there and always answer the stupid little complaints of pipe fixing and stuff like that. Would that help you? And they're like, yeah, yeah, actually that would. How much do you guys charge? And then you can at that point say, this is the best part. We're not really trying to charge you. We want to make sure it works for you. Once we know it works for you, and I think it will, then at that point, you can maybe talk to me about pricing. Maybe you can pay me something, a couple hundred bucks, a couple thousand bucks, whatever, you know. At that point, you build out your scripts. I'll make a separate video about scripts, by the way. I'm just kind of spitballing here. We can have a conversation and, and based off how long you want the service, and we can, you know, discuss the plans and pricing for how much I charge. I just want to show you that it works. Once you see it, then at that point, you can pay me what it's worth. Sounds fair enough? And at that point, they're like, yeah, let's do it. Then you schedule the appointment. Once you schedule the appointment, you go from there. So now imagine calling 250 people right now. All of them are plumbers. All of them are businesses that are active on Google that need actual help. You can call them and you can start answering. Yes, there will be a lot of people that don't respond, but that's the game. That's the name of the game. In the next video, I'm actually gonna teach you how to plug in AI to have them call for you. So now imagine you have an AI robot, the same thing you're selling, right? An AI receptionist, that's an actual cold calling expert that's gonna go out there and talk to every single one of these companies and sell AI to someone. So you have an AI kind of outbound sales agent that goes out there, has conversations with each of these people, and now instantly you can go out there and start booking appointments without you having to do anything. Literally, imagine you just wake up and you have five booked appointments from your AI receptionist that's calling these businesses and getting them to book an appointment without any involvement of human interaction. So guys, if this video gets enough likes and if I see enough engagement on this video and if you guys want me to show you exactly how I would plug in AI to this list and have AI call them individually three, four, five times a day and <laughs> blow their phones up trying to sell and give them an opportunity to book an appointment with you, click this like button, comment below and uh, let me know if you guys are interested and if you guys wanna learn that system. Okay guys, I'll make another video about the AI system that I'm gonna personally use for outbound for these specific people. Okay guys, so thanks for watching and I hope you guys learned something today here and it's literally free so you guys can go right now, there's not a brand deal, go right now, go to link in my bio and get the process started ASAP guys. I'll see you later and peace, thanks.